Hey guys, what's going on? It's David Miller from Monetary Ocean, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to print Amazon FBA shipment labels directly from a thermal printer. In this example, I'm going to be showing you how to do it from the Dymo 4XL. This also works with the Rolo. Those are the two that I've tested it with, so I know 100% it works like that. Uh, you can mess around with the settings for different printers if needed, but I will show you guys uh, specifically for the Dymo, and I'll also show you how to do it for the Rolo as well. So let's dive into it. First thing you need to download, first link in the description, Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. Make sure and click off these optional offers. You don't need that extra stuff. So just go ahead and install it. And then once you do that, you're going to go to the next step. So here we go. Once you print the labels from the Amazon shipment page, and when I say print, uh, you're just, it basically downloads a file. And this is the file itself. This most recent shipment was 20 packages. And obviously, you can't see any of this information. It doesn't really matter for this right now. But what you want to do is once you get this in here, go to print, surprising, and go ahead and change your printer over. And it's going to be really weird. You want to change, let's see if it's here. Nope. Uh, we want to go to, whoa, advanced, and change the paper size to the 4x6, which is the label size paper. Okay, okay, and you're still gonna see it like this. Basically, it wants to print out the entire label on the 4x6. We don't want to do that. We want to do actual size, and we want to do orientation portrait. So as you can see right here, there is a little bit of an overhang. We're not concerned about the overhang because this will be printed out in full, and it'll be scannable and working. So we're gonna go ahead and print off all of these. For what I'm showing you guys, I'm not printing these off because I already have, and I'm going to save paper. So you're just going to go ahead and print. This is what you want to do first. Okay, so when you have your full shipment, say it's 20 boxes like in my example, it will print off all 20 pages of this size right here. So it'll give you all 20 of the right-hand portion of the shipment label. And so then I'm going to show you guys what to do for the other one. So we're going to go ahead and do this right here edit take a snapshot and I like to first of all change the uh, view percentage to a smaller percent than the standard what it starts you off with so you can see the entire page it makes it go a lot faster so we're just gonna highlight this right here and kinda you don't want it to be directly on the lines you can if you want but I like to have a little bit of an overhang like this cut that you wanna do don't show this message again and for speed we're gonna do control print which is our control P control print so change the printer again uh, change this okay okay and you don't have to do anything else right here it's gonna print it off directly like this so once you go ahead and print it boom 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 it prints it out cool so then as it's printing what I like to do is just scroll down to the next one highlight Control P, and unfortunately, it looks like you have to change it every time. On my laptop, is a little bit different. It worked easier to where I didn't have to change all these settings every single time. But regardless, that's what you have to do. It might be a little more time intensive, but the fact that you're using your thermal printer and not using ink is a huge, huge plus. And so now, if you have a Rolo printer, you can do this exactly the same way, the same method, but once you get to this uh, left side of the print or the shipping label, which is actual uh, label itself, like for UPS, you want to go ahead and select your Rolo printer. And basically, you set up the settings the one time, you know, you set it up as needed so that it is looking the same here. And once you do that the first time, it basically saves those settings and you're able to just go through all of them real fast and pump them out. And that's how it's done. Basically, we're just going to go through each and every one of these and print off the other portion of the label. Then once you have printed off both sides of the label, just go through all your packages and slap both on and you are good to go. So this was a quick video on how to print out your Amazon FBA shipping labels with a thermal printer. Kind of tricky to do. There are paid extensions, but as long as there's a way for me to do it for free, 
I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, drop a like. And until next time, this is Dave Miller at Monetary Ocean. Don't wait. Dive in. Thank <laughs> you.